Ranch on Costa Mesa R&D. Today we have a Boss 429 cylinder head in the shop and we're going to try and straighten this head out. It has quite a bit of warp and what I was actually doing was checking to see how much warp there was. And I can actually rock my straight edge from one end to the other. And we got about all oh, close to 3 seconds of an inch of warp on this head and we're going to try and straighten it out. To do that, we have the head in the oven, and we're going to be placing a bar across here. We're going to heat the head up for a specified amount of time, and we're going to let the thing go through a cycle, then we're going to let it set until it cools down, and what we should have when we get done is a head that's fairly level. Uh, generally, when I do this, I'll get them within about three or four thousandths of being flat, and three or four thousandths to take off is not really that much. So, let's get started. What I'm doing is to uh, put a bar across here so I can actually clamp the head in the middle. And as the head heats up, the pressure that's pushing down on the head will actually pull the thing straight. I'm going to put a specific amount of pressure on here. And we'll set the temperature at a specific temperature. And we'll give it about an hour and a half in the oven. And when we come back, we'll check it for straightness. As the head bakes, it'll rotate so that we have a nice, even heating of the head. This is important when you're straightening cylinder heads, if you want them to be correct. Well, we've got the head out. It's been out for about two and a half hours. And as you can see, we have no more rock underneath the straight edge. So we've got this head ready to resurface now. If you'd like more information about cylinder head straightening, be sure to call me. John Edwards, Costa Mesa, R&D. See you soon.